All right, you know that moment, right? That split second when your AC kicks on and the lights in your living room just dip. Or maybe you feel that slight, almost imperceptible jolt through the house. It's one of those common household things we often just, well, accept, but it's actually a symptom of something bigger happening, like daily. Yeah, what you're feeling there is actually a significant rush of electricity. Yeah. Your AC compressor, when it first fires up, it demands this massive jolt of power. It's kind of like flooring the gas pedal at a red light, you know? Yeah. Instantly going from zero to 60. Right. And that surge isn't just a flicker. It can actually uh, strain your entire electrical system, put stress on your breaker box, and yes, even cause your lights to dim. I've had clients tell me their kids thought it was a ghost every time the AC came on. Ah, yeah, that's a great way to put it, that immediate flooring the gas pedal feeling. So this dimming and jolt, it sounds like it's... Um, more than just a minor annoyance then. Yeah. What are people doing about this? Is there a common fix emerging for homeowners? Absolutely. That's where something called a soft start kit steps in. So instead of that abrupt full throttle surge, this kit gradually eases your AC into motion. It's much smoother, controlled, and remarkably quiet, actually. Ah. Uh, uh, Think of it less like a drag race and maybe more like smoothly engaging cruise control on the highway. That really helps visualize it. So for anyone navigating, you know, rising energy costs or just trying to protect their home systems through these really hot summers, understanding this seems pretty key. Our mission in this deep dive is to really unpack the most important insights about these kits, why they actually matter, and who truly stands to benefit most from making what sounds like a surprisingly smart upgrade. Okay, let's get into this then. We're talking about more than just a momentary flicker. How exactly does a soft start kit fundamentally change that initial power demand? And what are the like tangible day-to-day -day benefits someone would notice in their home right away? Well, the most immediate and uh, impactful change is that soft start kits can cut the starting power draw by as much as 70% or even more, depending on the unit itself. 70%, wow. Yeah, it's significant. So what does that mean for you at home? Well, less stress on your breaker box, for one, which means Fewer of those annoying nuisance trips mm. and that frustrating dinning of lights you mentioned it pretty much disappears because the system isn't trying to yank more power than your home can comfortably deliver all at once. It's a really noticeable difference in your home's electrical stability. So it's not just a feeling. It's a measurable reduction in demand that translates directly into a more stable power flow throughout your home. It's funny how you just accept these little quirks in your home, isn't it? That dimming light, the slight hum but you're saying it's actually a signal of something that can be, well, optimized. Exactly right. It yeah. creates a truly stable power flow. You get consistent power, which frankly makes your home feel more modern and uh, less prone to those little power hiccups. It's about efficiency and comfort right from the first moment your AC kicks in. Okay, so we've talked about the immediate comfort, the stability, but what about the long game? How does this impact the lifespan of the AC unit itself? or maybe other parts of the home's electrical system. This isn't just about immediate relief, is it? No, not at all. What's fascinating here is the significantly longer compressor life you can gain. See, your AC's compressor is basically its heart, right? And those hard, abrupt starts are like mini shocks every single time it kicks on. Mm. Over years, that constant jarring creates immense wear and tear. So reducing these hard starts means significantly less strain, extending its operational lifespan considerably. This added longevity can literally add years to your system, and that saves you thousands in future replacements. Thousands. Okay. Can you elaborate a bit more on that? Like, what's the typical cost of an AC replacement, and how many years could this realistically add? Because saving thousands is a powerful incentive. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. New AC units are a major investment. You're talking anywhere from uh, maybe $4,000 to over $10,000, depending on the system in your location. We often see soft start kits extending compressor life by maybe 20% to 30%. So for a unit designed to last, say, 10, 15 years, that can mean an extra two to four years of life. Wow. Yeah. That's a significant return on what's a relatively small initial investment in the kit. It's proactive protection for a very expensive appliance. That's incredible, really. But okay, this technology seems like it might intersect with other home energy solutions, too. For those maybe considering alternative power sources or backup options, how does a soft start kit play into that picture? Oh, this is where it gets really interesting for folks thinking about energy independence and resilience. Yeah. A soft start kit makes your system much more generator and solar friendly. And here's why that's such a game changer. The main reason a smaller generator or maybe a solar setup might struggle to power your central AC is that massive initial surge we talked a about. A big power draw. Exactly. The soft start kit 
basically eliminates that hurdle. It means you can often run your central AC on a much smaller, more affordable generator that just couldn't handle the demand before. Imagine, you know, during hurricane season or any extended power outage, you might be able to keep your home cool with a generator that would otherwise be too small. That saves you money on the generator itself. That makes a lot of sense. Or if you're heavily invested in solar, you maximize its utility by allowing your AC to draw power more efficiently, more smoothly, without needing a massive, expensive inverter just to handle that startup kick. That's a significant improvement in energy flexibility, especially when you think about those emergency situations or just maximizing your solar investment. So we connect this to the bigger picture and considering everything we've discussed. Who truly needs this technology? Are there specific homes or situations where a soft start kit is almost, well, a necessity? That's a really important question because while many people can benefit, certain profiles definitely stand to gain the most. Soft start kits are ideal for, say, older homes that might have smaller electrical panels where every amp drawn at startup really counts and, uh, Circuit breakers are maybe more prone to tripping. Okay, older homes. They're also perfect for homes with solar or portable backup generators like we just discussed. It greatly expands what those systems can reliably power. And frankly, anyone just looking to protect their AC investment will see the immense value in extending its life and avoiding those costly, unexpected replacements down the road. Ultimately, I'd say it's for homeowners trying to make their energy use smarter, more efficient, and more resilient, not harder. And the installation process, is this a major hassle, a big renovation, or something simpler? No, it's surprisingly quick and painless, actually. It's an add-on device, usually installed right on your outdoor AC unit. Most licensed HVAC professionals can get it done in under an hour. It's a pretty small time investment for such significant returns. Got it. So, to quickly recap then, a soft start kit means drastically reduced power surges, significantly extended AC life, which saves money, and fantastic compatibility with generators and solar setups, giving you more energy resilience and flexibility. Exactly. And what's really fascinating here, I think, is how a seemingly small act, just softening an AC start, connects to this broader theme of smart home management. It's about optimizing your resources, you know, proactively protecting significant household investments like your AC and enhancing your home's overall resilience and comfort. It's moving beyond just reacting to problems mm -hmm. to intelligently anticipating and mitigating them before they happen. Indeed. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it, how many other seemingly small, overlooked household details might be hiding simple, elegant solutions for greater efficiency, more comfort, and uh, significant long-term savings. What other areas in your home could benefit from a little deep dive like this, maybe yielding surprising and big returns?